Hello out there YouTube, welcome to the OK Go To Read channel. And today we have sort of a mystery for you. Now a lot of you guys know that Frenzy was a small enough most of the time to fit inside the Gorilla Barricade, but here he is guys. This is the prime Takara Tomy Frenzy. What's going on here? Oh, oh it's Leo! Um, this is the first time he's ever appeared blue and is a hatchback. Yes, guys, that is true. He is he is blue. He is a hatchback. So real quick, this is from Takara Tomy, uh, Japan. So real quick, let's take a look at the box art. There's a hatchback version of him, and this it comes with this arms micro stuff, guys, which is still in the box. We'll show you that shortly. If you can read Japanese, guys, you can tell us what these stats are, guys, and you can see here's all these details on the on this car so it looks like there's a lot of detail work but guys let me show you something there is nothing on him right now guys no details of any kind he's a blank slate in fact you can see in the back hey, wait, nothing dude, there dude, dude don't have to translate it the guys don't have to translate it it says the little it says the little words after the japanese oh okay okay well i didn't notice that before good so, job dude so um strength is three his strength is three yeah that seems about right intelligence is Five. You can see here, guys, this is where the Decepticon emblem will go. Six. And I've heard is nine. I can't really read the rest of it. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Let's get this box open. So yeah, let's. This box was open. Okay, Leo's going to open it up and take the rest of the stuff out. And it came, so he came in vehicle mode inside that little compartment there right in the middle, guys. And, can you get it out, buddy? I've never seen anything like this before. So, okay, so let, let's show them this real quick. So guys, you can see, this is all, all our micro stuff is on a tree, we have to assemble it. There is stickers in here, well, along with the instructions, but we're gonna open this up in a little bit. Guys, I wanted to show you really quick though what it looks like, this is how you first get it. So you can see there is no graphics of any kind. Uh, his eyes, you can see, are sort of lighting up here just from the ambient light. It has this awesome transparent red acrylic, guys, for the windows, guys, for his eyes just in a lot of different places. And uh, do you want to whip this into vehicle mode real quick and we'll show them what it looks like a vehicle mode. So guys, actually real quick, let me just show you the back is nothing too impressive. The side looks good. And he's, for a deluxe class, he is not super beefy, but I mean, a lot of it's just kibble. What so it gives him the impression of size. Guys? Oh no, Leo's thumb disappeared into the cardboard. Uh, guys, so I actually can't get up. Okay guys, so it gives the impression of size. So you can see guys, he has sort of this mechanism for his head eyes which flips uh, when you when you transform him back and forth. And he's he looks okay like this, he's very, very plain. So Leah's gonna bust him into, we're gonna go through the transformation guys. Once we have the graphics on, this is gonna be a pretty intensive uh, video. So um, the first thing you want to do is you're gonna get these back parts out. Now, these are gonna be the back and rear wheels in vehicle mode. Then you fold up this, and then you fold this part. But those are actually like chunks of red to make the headlights. Isn't that cool? Put the head in, put this back. Now you can't really see it now, but you can. That's in now. Holding the feet. Now I'm just gonna do the rest of this. Here's one side done, the other side almost. There it is, hatchback mode. Okay guys, so, here we are. Here it is in vehicle mood, and you can see it's a very nice hatchback. With, and you can see here is another Decepticon shield to go there. And very, very plain at the moment. 
There's some Decepticon shields and but graphics. We can make it Alright guys, we are gonna do that. So this is sort of I guess a partial unboxing and that we're we're opening some of the stuff for the first time. So let's take a look at what we have here. So this is all of our tree stuff. And I almost wonder, guys, I think maybe I'm gonna go get the Leah, should I go get my trimmers for this? Mm -hmm. I should? Okay. Guys, I'm gonna get my sprue cutter for this. Uh, and I'll, I'll, we'll get that here in a second. And let's take a look here at what we have here. And a lot of packaging. This is something that's in Japanese. I can't read it, guys. If any of you like to tell us what this is, that'd be great. Uh, we have instructions here of some type. This is uh, this might be Farms Micro. We have. Yeah, this is Farms Micro. Uh, QR code for something. What else? Oh my gosh, there's so many things here. Oh, okay. So this tell. Oh, well, guys, look at these decals. These are wicked. They're all on Chrome too. Oh, that's cool. So guys, you can see there's a lot. Oh, you can have Frenzy's name on there. There is a lot, guys, of different things you can put on this. A lot of paint opportunities. So, and this one actually does have it built into the... That's cool. So it's got the numbers. It tells you where it goes. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we'll come back to that one. Guys, this is these all the different figures. Okay, guys, yeah, it is. So here's a bunch more Prime stuff. There is, who's 20? 20 or 30 is the one right before this. You can see this is basically a redo, redo, oh, this is Rumble. So this is basically, guys, just a recolor of Rumble. And, oh, look at Mega Choo Choo. Wow, that looks cool. Blasters on the on the hand. I like it on, but, oh, oh, look at that. Look at these Optimuses, dude. These are way cool. These are, these are nice. And of course, here's the instructions for Frenzy, guys, which we don't actually need. Okay, so guys, we're going to, I'm gonna go get the uh, the sprue cutter, guys, and we're going to get all this ARMS Micro stuff off and put together, guys, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so real quick on this one, you can see there's ports to add the ARMS Micro stuff in vehicle mode. But look at this, he's got windshield wipe, wipers molded on. This could be an opportunity, guys, that I might take to do some painting on this. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna whip through this real quick, and I'm gonna cut out all these pieces. It looks like arms here, possibly. And as soon as I get done here, guys, if you have one of these, these are handy, but you gotta always remember to cut against the part number not against the tree sprue. Oops. So that way you can minimize cutting the actual incorrect parts of the part off. And on this you can see it's tapered. So it'll help you slide into there. So if you get one of these guys, just remember the flat part goes against the part that you want to keep. And so guys, I'm gonna show you the stickers while Leo is putting together the arms micro. Oh, here's the here's how the arms micro goes. This is how this is what the arms micro looks like. This is what one of the arms micro. Okay, guys, is. the tree is empty. Here you go. I'll give you all this stuff, and Leo is gonna sort all that out. Here's the one I dropped on the floor, buddy. Okay, Leo's gonna sort that out, guys. Let's you and me review the stickers. And you can see, we got a Decepticon shield there. We have a dot. And this one doesn't list the place where every single one of these goes. So I'm not completely clear. Some of the stuff maybe you can just put wherever you want. Uh, we've got the two headlights. This I think is just whatever graphics. You put them wherever, I believe. These things are for the arms micro. So three, four, five. And oh, actually I think the six. So these are for the arms micro also. So the blue ones are all for arms micro. Uh, we have 10 and 11 guys, which is the headlight and turn signal combination. Sorry about the glare. 
the headlight and turn signal combination guys we have the tail light section in 13 12 and 13 we have other these other parts I don't know these I think actually can go on the side of the doors and stuff I don't know if we're going to utilize that or not we've got team sound wave if you want to add that you've got frenzy if you want to add that uh, 21 is the shield for his grill and 19 and 20 see 20 is saying it goes here I don't know why you would have that I think that's if you don't want to have the shield but possibly you can see I mean if you, I think if you put that there you're gonna make a mess of this we're gonna have to work on that guys um, if you saw the box art which I've uh, nicely tossed in fact actually I might go get that oh okay wait a minute, wait a minute. Some of these things are for his chest shields and stuff. That's what this is. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get the box art. I shouldn't have thrown that away, guys. So you can see, guys, here's how the car looks. They just use the headlights, and they also use the center shield. And over here, you can see on this one, they have actually added these parts to him. The yellow, the yellow goes on his chest plates. We could do that. All right, guys, so we can put yellow on his chest plates. Oh, okay, and the arms micro gets a little red dot, it looks like, once it's all... Here's what it looks like all assembled, dude. Leo's getting it. Leo's getting it. Maybe I should put stickers on the car while you're doing that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some stickers on this car. Okay, guys, and we are back, and all the stickers have been deployed. And real quick, guys, so here is... Guys, what... I gave him a bumper sticker. Yes, he did, guys. There's some surprises to this. So this, guys, is what he looks like with the detail added. It helps a lot. Um, I think I actually could use even a little bit more than this, to be honest, guys. But this is pretty good. This arm micro won't stay on. Yeah, so the arm's micro, um, He's he has to hold it. Can I see that a second? One of the deployment arms, guys, is not cooperating. Um... No, because it actually has a big crack in it. Oh, yeah, this one's broken. See, you guys, it's already... So, But anyway, guys, the idea here is you can, ex I can believe, extend this. Yeah, you can extend this so you can have it do this th this sort of action. And you can put it in his hand. <laughs> and if we had all four of them, well, maybe I should put all four on. It would look a little something... <sighs> Look a little something like this, guys. <laughs> so, all, most of the stick, a lot of the stickers went on this. And you can see there's, uh, there it is. Okay, Arms Micro, whatever that guy's name is, I don't remember. Okay, guys, and real quick, guys, uh, let's whip this into vehicle mode so I can show you that. Okay, so there you guys see his nice kneecaps, which are now gold chrome. Okay, so, to convert this, guys, first thing we do, Fold the foots back into the hood. And then, oh, sticker. Oh, Leo's bumper sticker. Leo, I don't know how long that bumper sticker is going to last, buddy. Oh, bumper stickers actually need to go on the back, guys. We're going to move that one. So we're going to take this off for right this second. Yeah, let's put it off to the side. Put it back on the transfer paper. Okay. All right. And what we need to do here is then just bend this. And this will make the front, so, oops, same thing here, guys. Bend at the knees, slide this over, guys, so it will make this part. Okay. And from there, all we're doing is just folding and tucking, guys. This is a very simple transformation, and hopefully our sticker has stayed relatively lined up. For the Decepticon. Okay, from here, guys, all we're doing is splitting this, playing hide the head, stay in there. Okay, hide the head, come around, like so. These, obviously, you can see are going to be the back wheels, but we have this in the way right now. So, we need to delicately get past this. So his pulled his arm straight up. Actually, guys, I probably could have done that in an earlier step, but just down like so. Okay. Oops, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to knock the camera. 
So there he is, guys. So we're having his arm straight up, and you want the tailgate in front. You just had a new transformer. And so we're going to do this part next, guys. So we take pulled the hood out on this double hinge. So guys, you want to make sure that this part is the part that goes inside. Okay, don't leave, don't leave this part or you won't be able to transform them. Point his arms, both of them directly on the inside and then um, we'll snap guys? into the roof. Uh, we've got a casualty, guys. One of his legs is broken. Yeah, but we saw three more. They still got three more. So, Leah's got this uh, frenzy on the side. So you can see here, guys, where it starts to take shape after you do that part. And it's just a matter now of lining up the roof. For some reason, seems to always want to give me a little bit of headache here, guys. All right, it does stay together fairly well once it's snapped. And then from down here, guys, you can see the, the body will snap into this part right here on both sides. And from there, it's just a matter of staying there. It's just a matter of snap, crackle, and popping this thing together. Okay. Oh, come on now. Cybernetic force field activate. This one, for some reason, doesn't always want to notch super well, and I don't know why that is. So anyway, just a matter of going around the car, and you guys know the drill. Okay. There you go. We have a guy. Oh, come on. Stay together. Okay, let's put the bumper sticker back on this. And where's the bumper sticker? Yeah. All right, guys, Team Soundway bumper sticker, guys. This is funny. This So this guy was not in, actually, oh, we can't give it to him his license plate. This is way too big for a bumper sticker, dude. I still used it. I'm just saying it's, uh, here, let's see if we can get to mold across here, guys. I don't know if this is going to work. This chrome, oh boy, this is tough. Trying to get it on the spacing here, guys, so we have enough plastic. So the chrome does not like to be, it's just a polyester, guys, polyester chrome. It is not digging being molded across, as polyester does not tend to like, being molded across any contours, guys. But there it is, Team Sandwave, now the bumper sticker. And there, guys, is basically how you get him from Rubot into vehicle mood, guys, and it looks like that did shift just a touch. Not too bad. There he is. What do you think, buddy? Let's stay together. Good. Good. Oh. So there's just a lot of re-clicking and re-notching, guys, for some reason with this figure. I don't know why that is. He does roll pretty well. But yeah, he's he's cool. He's what do you think, Leo? He's a cool figure. Do you like him better in hatchback mode? Hatchback. Or do you like him better in robot mode? Um, robot. Okay, guys, so let's whip him into robot real quick. Actually, no, I like him more in robot mode. We're gonna whip him into robot mode anyway. So the first thing we do is take those other panels apart and drop him. And <laughs> if we put his his arms straight overhead, guys, like so. And drop it. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Yeah, you don't actually need to drop it. That is true. So we're going to get this out of the way for right now. And so these need to go to the back so that these can come out on the side. And they will extend like so. Okay, come on. And his head pops up there, guys. So we should move that part. And back down here. So before we get too far, you got to fold this out. Fold his foots out again. Again with that, and there he is, guys, into robot mood, guys. Oops, and you gotta kinda put these hatchbacks out of the way or you won't be able to get to his arms. And there he is, back into a robot mood. I like him more vehicle mode. And he stands okay, he stands okay. Guys, leave us a comment and let us know. I like him in both modes, actually. I think he presents extremely well as Robot mode. I love this face sculpt. This is one of Leo's favorite parts also is the face sculpt on this thing and it is delicious guys Love that face sculpt 
It doesn't stand great. It stands okay. Frenzy has a bumper sticker. Frenzy has a bumper sticker. And there he is. You gonna whip him into vehicle mode one good time? Yeah, you do it. <laughs> okay. Well, you do the honors, Dad. Okay, Leah. So I'm gonna do this one more time, and you can, of course, put arms micro guys on the side of the car as well. So this time, guys, I think I'm gonna actually do this. I'm gonna do this part first. I'm gonna put his arms straight up. <laughs> Army's up, buddy. Army's up. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna come and do this. Straighten out the foots one more time, guys. Bend at the knees, bend at the knees. Flip out the bumper, flip out the bumper. And you can plug it together or not plug it together. I usually do, just so I don't forget about it. And let's fold these legs back into each other. There we go. Okay, from here, army's up, army's up. And guys, let's tuck his head in here. Let's do that part right now. So, tucking his head is usually a little bit easier if you do it before this step, but, you know, we'll just, we're going to just do it as we do it. Okay, guys, so, put this part together. I really wish I would have had an emblem for that tailgate, though. That would have been good. Okay, so, let's fix his arms first, and, okay, fix his arms first, tuck them into the roof, and fold those down, fold these around. There it is, guys. You can see it is taking shape here. We are getting some sound effects from our micro today, guys. Is he in the water, Leo? Sounds like he's in the water. Guys, let us know if he sounds like a deep sea submarine to you also. It's, it's, in, a, it's, a, it's an alarm that triggers the guns. Oh. oh I'm robots in the sky. <laughs> I thought he was in water. <laughs> but it did not even occur to me that was an alarm. Okay, guys. And all we're doing is tucking pants. Let's hear it for tucking panels, guys. That's what we do. That's what, that's what transformers are, is tucking panels over and over. Okay. Oh, oh our blast bomb! Alright guys, you gotta make sure that these are stuffed into the into the hood. Or he will not roll. I think we should be pretty good here. Let's uh let's ro red rubber him on over to Leo. Did he not roll? Guys, I feel like he didn't roll there. Oh wait, that's fine. Okay. Now let's try to ride. I like this car shape, guys. It's like a, it's a little hatchback of some sort. There you go. Alright. I'm just going to try to put arms micro on him, it sounds like. Which would make driving pretty much nearly impossible. That's just how we roll, guys. Yeah, so those legs are not very good on this. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The, the arms micro thing is okay. Uh, we don't really do a lot with the weapons anyway, but but that uh, not super in love with this as a weapon, I guys. Like it's just an okay weapon. It's a mini con. I forget which mini con it is. I'll have to look it up, guys. It will show up on the description for this video, guys. If you are really interested in finding out who that is. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it, guys. This is the first video we've done like this, where we started with a very basic transformer and added all the graphics and actually assembled the weapon, guys, from scratch. There's your look at AM31 guys, Takara Tomy, Transformers Prime Deluxe Class Frenzy guys. <laughs> Frenzy is oversized. Normally, like I said, he can fit into the grill of Barricade or he belongs sometimes to Soundwave. This one obviously is more of a Soundwave figure. Guys, he did not appear in the show. Frenzy was not in the show, but they did the mold for the show. And why not put out the toys, guys? This is one of the later waves from Transformers Prime guys. I'm glad they did though, I like this figure. I think he's cool. He's certainly one of the more unusual ones, guys. Very unique. We do not have another hatchback to my knowledge. So he's Wait, very cool. we have a Bumblebee hatchback. In time to turn. 
You're right. You're right. Actually, you're right, Leo. Um, so outside, so we don't have another deluxe class hatchback. How about that? Well, we don't have another deluxe class hatchback, guys. To my knowledge, anyway. So I like this, guys. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this is sort of an unexpected thing that I just came across. Fits in well with our Transformers Prime collection, guys, and the entire collection, guys, including this guy, will be. We do it every October, guys. So. The next one, at the time of this filming, will be in 2019, guys, so definitely stay tuned for that if you're interested. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this, our look at this particular figure, which is AM31 Takara Tomy, Transformers Prime, Frenzy Deluxe Class, guys, with the Arms Micro Minicon, and I don't recall his name, guys. Uh, we installed all these graphics, most of them are on pretty straight. It does help him quite a bit, guys, but he could still use a lot more from here. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the look at this, Please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button, guys, if you have not done so already, guys. Hit the blue button, the red subscribe button. Put the latest and greatest adventures, guys, as they appear on this channel, including more random transforms, guys. We always wind up just coming up with all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, we, we, we don't plan a lot of, we plan, guys, we plan some of our transformer purchases, but a lot of them we just come across them and we go, hey, that is pretty cool. I think I would like to have that for either our collection or because guys we think it's a cool video to bring to you guys so you never can tell guys you can also follow us of course on our twitter feed where updates to the channel including Dad, playlist look. editions are made in live so if, you put guys. This, if you put this little holder on that thing it activates this gun okay in my game and if you take it off it deactivates it interesting interesting guys leave us a comment if you play like that too guys it's a it's pretty inventive buddy guys uh also leave us a comment if you like transformers prime if you have this toy guys if you're interested in these toys i love this red acrylic windshield guys let us know what you think of that let us know what you think do you guys have a lot of the takara tomi toys guys most of what we have is hasbro i might do a takari playlist at some point guys uh takara tomi uh guys keep an eye out for that as well I've got some playlists I'm going to be adding before the end of the year, guys. It's, it's in later part of 2018 as we film this, guys. So it may be up and up for quite a while by the time you guys see this video. But definitely, guys, feel free to check those out. They're very curated videos, guys. So you can watch exactly what you may be interested in our channel, guys, uh, if you're not interested in some of the other videos. Anyway, though, guys, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.